It's that time of year you may be planning a wedding or buying gifts and dresses to go to one. Let's start with those of you getting ready to get married. Leslie Tane is a debt relief attorney with 25 years experience and she says, Think about how much you really want to spend and understand that you're likely going to go over budget. She says the key is to figure out what it is you can do to pay off the wedding over the course of time. Perhaps extending your engagement longer so that you can pay off your vendors and or put your money into a savings account. Now's a great time to put money away because savings accounts carry high interest rates and it's a great opportunity to help your money grow during the season while you're waiting to be married. Tane says you can also look to negotiate with vendors and be flexible on wedding dates. She says sometimes you can pick special days that are off days to get married and save some money. And when it comes to being a guest, Tane says there are a lot of expenses, not just the attire and the gift, but if you have to travel and the time potentially away from work, she says be selective about the weddings you choose to attend. You can swap with friends different dresses and outfits from weddings that they've attended. This way you don't have to break the bank and buy new clothes every single time you go. There's also ways to rent clothes and that's a great way to save money and this way you don't buy something that's kind of a one and done that other people may have seen. And if you're really in a financial crunch, Tane says speak to the wedding host and explain to them you want to go to their wedding and you'd like to provide them a gift that doesn't break the bank. She says it's okay to find creative ways to show your congratulations toward the bride and groom and it's also okay to say no and turn down a wedding invitation. With this watch in your wallet, I'm Rachel DePampa.